Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at Fig and Olive for Doris Bergman's fifth annual Emmy style lounge and party. Okay. So how are you doing? I am doing very well, thank you. Awesome. What brings you out today? Um, well, I'm donating some toys and I'm here to check out everything. Totally, cool. So let's talk about Fargo. Yay! A million nominations. Uh, we got 18 Emmy nominations. That's I'm so crazy. excited. Are you going to the Emmys on Monday? No, I can't make it, but I'm going to all the pre-Emmy parties. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's just as good as if not more fun. Right? right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next season, um, the show takes place in a different year. Are you able to tell us anything about that? Well, I'm not going to be part of next season. Oh, you're not? Uh, as some of other casts are not either. Oh, okay. So it's going to be very, uh, very different. Oh, okay. So uh, let's talk about your movie, uh, Wish I Was Here. Yeah. Okay, with Zach Raff yeah. directing, how was that? Uh, it was great. I mean, Zach and I worked together a few years ago on Oz the Great and Powerful. Oh, okay. So we became really good friends on that, and then he approached me about being on Wish I Was Here, and I was so excited because I was a backer of the film on Kickstarter before I had even known I was going to be part of it. So uh, when he approached me, I was so ecstatic. That's awesome. And how does he? how is he uh, as a director? He's brilliant. I'm yeah. a huge fan of Garden State. Yeah, me too. And uh, he was just so calm and funny and great to be around on set. Yeah. So what's it like? I mean, you've been so busy. I mean, we can. We were just talking. We can name like a million films that you've been. Like, is it crazy? Or are you just back to back to back? <coughs> yeah. I mean, it's been really crazy. But I like busy. Yeah. I like being busy. So if I'm busy, I'm happy. So I had Wish I Was Here come out this year. Um, Fargo has 18 Emmy noms, and I'm crazy. just so excited to be part of that. Yes. Um, my film Sound of the Fury is going to Toronto Film Festival. Cool. Also, uh, James Franco directed that one. Oh, awesome. And I just finished filming a film called Stonewall. So, okay. Can you tell us anything about that? Uh, Stonewall is about the Stonewall riots in 1969. Okay. Roland Emmerich directed it, and Jeremy Irvine and Jonathan Rhys Meyers star in it as well. Oh. Um, and it's a, it's a gay rights story. It's okay. amazing. And what about your character? I play Jeremy Irvine's little sister. Oh. Um, and I'm basically like the only accepting one in his family, so. Oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. We look forward to seeing everything. Thank you. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like if you like this video, and also subscribe for more interviews, and leave me a comment with your favorite television show.